what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so you can know when i upload a video y'all read that title you already know what type of video this is i'm basically going to be showing you guys how i made that intro in the beginning this is a highly requested video anyway so the first step to making this intro you're going to need a background so you're going to need safari first of all we're going to go inside of safari and you're going to search up a background that you want to use so as you can see i already had my background together i searched a brown background and this this is the one that I liked. You can choose any color that you want. I love when y'all send me y'all intros and it be different color themes and not the same one as mine because I like seeing different colors of what I showed you guys. You don't have to use the same color as me, but if you really do want to, then go for it. So I use this one right here. All you have to do is hold down on the color that you want and click add to photos. Don't worry about the format or whatever that it is in because I'm gonna show you guys how to get it in that YouTube size. So after getting this picture, you're going to go inside of CapCut and don't worry, you don't need any pictures of yourself. Everything I'm showing you guys is free. You don't need to get rid of watermarks or none of that. So go inside of CapCut and what we're going to do is click on new project and insert that background right inside of the new project. So this is what it should look like right after you insert the background. So what I'm going to do is delete this little ending because we don't need that. And what I'm going to do is scroll over to where it says format. And then I'm going to click on 16.9 because that is the proper YouTube size to use. So let me go back. And what I'm going to do is make sure that the background is selected and I'm going to zoom in so that it can fit. The next thing I'm going to do is scroll over to where it says text and I'm going to click on text and click on add text and you're going to insert your YouTube name. So I did mine in all caps because I mean, I like my name in all caps. So pretty Tatum or whatever your YouTube name is. And I'm gonna go over to style and the font that I used was the modern font. You can use whatever font you want to use, but I just felt like the modern font was cute to me. So I'm just gonna zoom this up to like right here. And I'm gonna make sure that it is properly in the middle. There we go right there. And then what I'm gonna do is click on Pretty Tata, then click on copy. And what I'm gonna do is bring it down, make sure that it is in the middle and shrink it just a little bit. Like about right there is perfect. So about right there. And I'm gonna scroll over to where it says style. Well, you don't really have to scroll over, it's literally right there. And right there where it says opacity, you just wanna turn this bad boy down to like 50, like 52. Cause 52 is, is the exact number I use, or you can do 50, whatever. So I'm gonna click on the check and I'm gonna click on copy again. And I'm going to move this up right here, like make sure that it that it fits along with the other one. Why is it not in the middle? There we go. So we might have to use to make this pretty tighter in the middle go up just a little bit. All right. And let's make sure that this fits. All right. So that kind of looks perfect to me. So what I'm going to do is click play, pause. All right. Split, split split play pause split 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 play pause <laughs> i don't know why this funny split 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 so hopefully y'all see the pattern here that i am doing i'm going to do this four times well one more time play pause i'm gonna bring it back just a little bit split split and split and then i'm just going to delete well, actually, I'm just going to delete um, like toward the ending. I'm just going to delete the ones on the outside and just leave the one in the middle. So you need four of these sections. And then for the fifth side, for the fifth slide, you're just going to need the one in the middle by itself. So what I'm going to do is like for the second one, I'm going to click on the one in the middle, go to style, and I'm going to turn this one down to 52. And then for the ones on the outside, I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up. All right, so for the next slide, we don't have to do nothing. But for the fourth one, we will have to repeat what we just did. So for the middle, we're going to put the middle one on 52. And for the outsides, we're going to turn the opacity all the way up to 100. All right, so this is what it will look like. One, two, three, four, boom. 
all right so this one is off topic but at first let me go to animation at first i had this effect when you go to loop i had this effect on all of them the wavy effect along with like the little swirly swirl or whatever but i mean you can add like any loop effect that you want i feel like y'all might like the wavy one or y'all might like this little wave at the end but kind of slow it down i mean y'all might like that like i said i kind of liked it the wavy one at first but i don't know i changed it but i saw a lot of people with that type of intro as well with the just wavy kind so if you wanted to know how to get that then that's how you get that too but this ain't this video so that's just a little off topic thing for you guys you, you would just have to add it to all of them though but anyway back to the video so that's what this looks like so what i'm going to do is about right here i'm going to drag this to about right there great so yes we did just get rid of that fourth slide but we finna bring it right back so make sure you just have all four of these before we save it and make sure that it is all matching the brown background what i mean by that is make sure all of it ends up like where the brown background is because we don't want to have like a black i don't i hope y'all get what i'm saying but make sure that all of this fits along with the brown background or whatever color background you use so it should all be even that's basically what i'm trying to say so now let's save it all right let me go back and then i'm gonna click the back arrow so that this one could bring up so the other thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spread this out you don't have to spread it out far but i just did that and we're gonna spread this one out by itself because we're gonna crop all that extra stuff out and what i'm gonna do is drag this to where this background ends and we're gonna save this one too so you will see why i'm doing it but i just felt like this was the easier way so we're gonna go inside of photo and go right to the one where i extended it like right here and we're gonna click on edit make sure that the first one is selected and we're just gonna drag it as y'all can see, I'm dragging it at the bottom. Drag it to where your name pops up. So right here, and then we're gonna click on done and save video. And you will see why I'm doing that. I just felt like this was easier. So the next app we're gonna need is Video Star. I'm not a big fan of Video Star. I don't even know how to use Video Star, but I kind of learned. So I'm just showing y'all how I did my intro. So go inside of Video Star, and we're gonna click on the plus sign, click on edit video, and insert what we just cropped which is this one right here so make sure yep so what i'm gonna do is click on make video and then i'm gonna click on new and multi-layer click on number one and insert it right back into it insert that right back in here and down where you see all the way down to the left you see where it says layout we're gonna click on layout and we're gonna scroll over until we see i will know the name when i see it so let's just scroll over until we see i'm about to show y'all okay turbulence turbulence number four is the one that i used for my intro and when you press play that is what it looks like so i kind of like mine just where it's at now if you want yours to be kind of extra and all wild and stuff you can just move this little side thing up down whatever so if you want it to look all crunched up like that you can do that i mean that's just your intro or if you want it you know i'm pretty sure y'all get the picture now so if you want it to slightly move then go further down but i like the mine in the middle that ain't the middle so about right here is perfect for me so i'm gonna click on create click on done and then you're gonna click on the x at the top and then you will see at the bottom where the little right here i'm highlighting hopefully y'all can see this little pink ball that i'm highlighting but yeah the save button we're gonna click send to camera roll all right boom so we're gonna go right back inside of cap clip and then we're gonna click on new project and we're gonna insert this one the one that we had made so insert this one first and then you're gonna insert the one we just made from video star all right so it should look like this boom so i'll say by right there we're gonna stop it so we can do like two two seconds right there and this one should be 2.3 seconds this one could be 2.3 seconds too all right so what we're gonna do next is click on the plus sign and go over to stock videos and we're gonna click on the black background and what i'm gonna do is click on the little transition and go over to mg 
and you can pick whichever one you want to use but I use the wave right so it would look like this boom so the next thing I did was go to effects and go to video effects and I went over to where it said bling and the one I used was the sparkle now, for some reason, CapCut was tripping yesterday, so mine didn't look like this on the beginning, but it did look like this on the second part. I don't know how it happened, but like I said, CapCut was kind of glitching yesterday, and I'm kind of glad it was glitching because it was kind of cute, like how mine looked it. But on this part, for sure, this is exactly how my intro looked it, but on this part, it didn't have the sparkles on it. I don't know, but yeah. So I use the sparkle effect and you can choose any bling effect because to be honest, the bling effects really be so cute. Like I really didn't know which one to choose from. So you can choose any one of these and these look like aesthetic intros. So if you're an aesthetic person, this one for sure, like this one is so cute. So you can use any bling effect. You can use the other ones as well, but I just felt like the bling one is the perfect match for these for some reason so yeah you can choose any bling effect that you want to use just pick any one that you want to use y'all i'm really sitting here trying to figure out if cap cut oh this one is cute if cap cut was glitching yesterday because like this one is also another cute one that i was gonna go for the retro diamonds okay what happened so yeah anyway so make sure that your effects is stretched out this one is actually cute so yeah I'm pretty sure y'all get the picture. So I'm just showing y'all like example. Oh my God, this one is raw. All right, we're going to go for this one just for this particular video. So for right here, I'm about to show y'all the next step. We're going to click on overlay, click on add overlay. I just went to my videos because I had this green screen screen recorder of the subscribe button that I use. So if you want to use the same subscribe button that I use, y'all can see the name on the screen. Just search that up and screen record it and you will be here where I am at. So I'm going to click on trim. And I'm going to trim it to where the green the green screen starts, which is right here. And then I'm going to trim the ending to where it ends. So like right there. And I'm going to click on the check. Go to add. Go over to edit, crop. And then I'm going to crop it like right here, as y'all can see. Click on the check. Zoom it up just a little bit. Go back. And I'm going to go to chroma key. And I'm going to highlight the green. Now, a lot of people kept asking me in other intro videos, like, how do they highlight the green? Like I said, just take your finger and drag it across the screen. Or drag it across the, the green screen. And then we're going to click on intensity and turn it all the way up. All right. So make sure this fits. This is so cute, y'all. This is like a Brett's theme or Brett's um, logo or something. Anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn the volume down because this one did not come with like the little ding sound effect and the little click and all of that. We have to add our own. So I'm going to go to speed, go to normal and just drag it all the way up to like 3.3 and make sure that it ends where the transition starts. Okay, now. All right, so we can add an out animation to this because I kind of want it to go out. I used the flip one. All right, so let's move this back some because this don't come out when I want it to. Boom. There we go. So that's perfect. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is for the sound effects. I'm going to show you all the sound effects that I use. So I'm going to just go to my files and I'm going to search up a button sound effect because I downloaded my files. But um, this is the one that I use. It is called the remote control button click sound effect. So if you want to use the same one I use, search it up on YouTube and screen record it or download it. So I'm going to import this into CapCut. And you already know the drill with this. You just want to make sure that the sound effect matches. So. All right. And then for this one, we're going to move this down some. There we go. And it matched. So let me move this right there. So we have our intro. All right. Boom. So for this, like black part right here you don't have to leave it like that you can move this to like 0 0.5 seconds perfect so for the song you can use whatever song you want to use because this is a six second intro so it's not like you will get copyrighted for a song that only plays for like six seconds so you know 
take your time though because i don't want to you know jinx y'all into getting a copyright so use whatever song you want to use i'm going to use the song that i use you can screen record it do what you have to do but i have mine on here and then for your song i'll say about right here is where you want to split your song so click on your song click on split then delete what's after it what's after it and then we're going to click on the song go to fade and turn the fade up to like we can turn it up to like 3.7 so let's see what this sound like so we can make the song just a little bit longer boom so that is how i make my intro you guys so that is very simple that is very easy like i said you can use whatever effects you would like to use you don't necessarily have to use just the bling effects you can use the mood the variety whatever effect you want to use so that is how I make my intro, you guys. Feel free to DM me on Instagram and send me your intros. A lot of y'all do that, and I just repost them. I'd be so happy at the outcome as well. So once you make your intro, you can DM me on Instagram, and I will repost it for you. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all in the next video. I was listening to the song.